I'm Jalen Shaw. Um, I'm 18. I go to the University of San Diego. I like to work out, hang out with friends, family. We like to, you know, go to the beach, San Diego, go to one of my friend's apartments or dorms or whatever and just hang out, talk, stuff like that. Uh, winning a state championship back in high school. Um, it really was like kind of unexpected. Nobody really expected it out of us. And me and my friends, we were all playing together since like elementary school, Pop Warner, stuff like that. So just doing it with them, it, it, it felt like a dream, you know, it didn't, it didn't feel real. So starting off, I actually was a defensive lineman. After that, they found out I got a little speed on me. So they put me a running back and a bit of a cornerback too. And then Ever since then, I've been playing both those positions since a little bit of linebacker in like sixth, seventh grade, and then just running back corner. I mean, throughout my career, I've dealt with so many injuries. My freshman year, uh, about week, week six of the football season, I broke my collarbone. And, you know, I rehab got better. Nine days after being cleared, went out. I also played basketball and I uh, fractured my tibia. So it was like kind of back to back. I was expecting to uh, come back 100%, you know, just complete the basketball season, and get ready for the next season. But I faced two very significant injuries and lost a lot of time. So that was very challenging. It made me realize how important it was to really like value taking care of your body and just like really living in the moment. The, the way I see it is like you really need to like enjoy what you're doing because every play could be your last play or like any play anything could happen you could break something just like anything like that and it's like I've dealt with so many injuries I really focus on just like living in the moment and like stuff like that so many people to me obviously my parents are very influential to me just like wanting to make them proud is like what drives me but one person that really stands out to me my older brother. It's just someone I look up to because when I see him succeed, it's like, oh, that just makes me want to succeed. And like, I don't know if he knows this, but he sets a really good example. And that makes me want to set a good example because I've got two younger siblings. I have a younger brother and a younger sister. Yeah. He just gives me a little advice like, oh, make sure you keep up on sleep, you know? It's going to be a grind. Like, just make sure you keep up with everything. Make sure you're doing right, okay, like mentally and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Just keep on doing the little things and just focus on the next step rather than focusing on stuff behind you. Um, nobody has ever, in my family, at least graduated college with a degree. So that's something that really pushes me. It's like, my brother's gonna be first, I wanna be the second. It's just something that like, I feel like would really make everybody proud. Of, and it's something for me too. I mean, getting a degree is huge. You could succeed for a lot of people and make a bunch of people happy, you know, just Everybody else is proud of you, but if you're not proud of yourself, you don't believe in yourself, you don't succeed for yourself and make yourself happy, then there's really no point in doing it. Goal one is to get out of college with a degree, get a nice stable job, you know, set up my future for the rest of my life. But I mean, short term goals, football, I really want to succeed in that. I've been out with an injury all the fall and this is my first time coming back, so that's like pretty huge for me. I really want to succeed in that. Really just live in the moment. Just like do what you want to do, but don't stray off course too much. But have fun when you're young because everything starts to get more and more complicated as you get older and older. Hey, I appreciate you coming. I appreciate it.